Welcome to Complete Games and my new home. This is going to be, well, it's something a little bit different for the channel, but I figured with Ark Survival Ascended in the state that it's in, that this probably is going to be the best way to go about bringing you the content. So we've just taken the last couple of weeks, and if you've been following along, we've been doing a lot of testing, play testing, just trying to see how things are balancing out. And we've decided to do a Small Tribes private server with myself and the crew. But for the most part, I'm going to be soloing it very similar to how we did the uh, complete series it's just the game's not finished yet and as new maps come out i want to be able to explore them and for those who do follow along with the channel i would like to kind of show you the progress that i'm making in my own game and i mean long story short i just want to play the game and uh, and enjoy it because that's the best way to learn about it and you know all of these new things i'm learning along with you guys as well so i want to give you informed guides on it and actually play it so first off well let me go over the settings firstly fortitude is definitely broken or the island map has got heat problems or something's going wrong with it so to negate that problem we've customized it that you get times free for fortitude because otherwise we're just going to be sitting in the ocean trying to chill out because it's it's yeah it's just not something's not quite right with it at the minute now the second that wildcard do correct that we'll put it back down to times one and it'll be easy to just read it but just you your points get a rockwell tonic or whatever you it, it's uh just at the minute uh, we felt that putting it up to times three just helped balance it out, but I'm still going to have to pump it really, really high just to, uh, yeah, just to be able to live. But, yep, w welcome to Ark Survival Ascended. Now, the other thing that's broken, certainly broken, is loot. Loot is so overpowered, and we've had some spies out on the official servers as well, just asking what kind of blueprints they're coming up with. And at times one... Yeah, it's not only are they overpowered, some of the requirements for crafting, you're not going to be able to do it on the official benches. I mean, there's only like 150 slots in the, in the smithy, so you're going to have to fully weigh out an argent. And some of these recipes, I don't even think you're going to be able to do them in the tech fabricator, so it, it needs adjusting. And we can't adjust it, we can't bring it down to 0 0.5, that makes no difference, so it doesn't go below what they call minimum which is a one uh, which is really really overpowered so uh, we've turned the dinosaurs up to times 10 so they are now going to be spawning max level at 300 which should kind of balance it out to give us a bit of a challenge and that's why i'm kind of <laughs> looking around because even a high level uh, dilophosaurus or something could uh, give us a bad day so my plan is well I think I'm going to go on a bit of a note run because I don't want to set up in the starter area. So let's just hit up Helena Note 5. Come here, Parasaur. We need your hide. Ooh, one more should do it. There we go. Lovely. Remember, hatchet for hide. And I'm probably going to tame one just to get some berries going or something saves making up narcotic what level is this if it's low enough i'll grab it i don't want to wait around too long we just need something to grab some berries and yeah level 20 will be fine just knock it out with a slingshot so that's another thing we do have two mods enabled on the server and of course if you're on xbox you're going to be able to install mods as well and uh, yeah the only two you really need is a spyglass and a stack mod so unless wildcard change something you're pretty much going to need that stack mod just to be able to craft craft the blueprints just needs a saddle there we go okay let's get some berries oh did i it's only a level 60 so yeah now if wildcard decide to put the uh, tech binoculars behind a gamma fight then we'll probably not end up using the spyglass mod but i think it's pretty much going to become a staple for everybody now it's you know it's just it's not it's not fun playing without that so of course it's naturally in the game it's just behind a ridiculous unlock tier 
and uh, you shouldn't be getting it at the end game in my opinion because you know it's essential for building a good army so we've put the spyglass on and the stack mod and yeah they're the only two mods okay just in the back of the woods here there is a note and I think I'm just going to push on and yeah there we go rhino I'm just going to push on along to the red obelisk and we'll go on a bit of a note run here because I want to level up and kind of make a play for where I want to set up our eventual base location. We're just heading towards the red obelisk here, the southwest, and I think it's just like at the back of this tree line there's another dossier here. I suppose we all end up getting our own route if you end up generally playing this game from the start quite often and yeah I've had to begin on this game enough times the Leo Leo whatever that was they, I, do you know that is the one dinosaur I've never tamed I only recently saw one for the first time on Ark and um, it feels like six months ago but yeah, it's the creature that kind of gives you a buff to loot that you're gathering or something. But yeah, I've, yeah, I very rarely see them. They're as rare as a unicorn and I've never just, I've never bothered taming one. Okay, a little bit risky coming over this way, but I figured I've got enough narcotic now. I feel like they've done a lot of work on the ruins around here. This feels much more like it could have been Rockwell's Manor. I felt just that bit in the center you know it felt a little bit too small but now there's ruins scattered it's it's nice yeah just here as well this is the um the one that waits but yeah just doing this little circle really does get you powering through the levels okay right i need some chitin Ooh. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> it's alright. We were done with the Parasaur anyway. <laughs> it's only a level 20. Oh, dear. So, I just need the kite in for the Pterodon saddle. Oh, finally. <laughs> so, I figured rather than doing the thing of making a raft, being that we've power leveled through the notes there. We may as well just go straight into the sky. And what are you? Yeah, that'll do. As long as you can get me off the ground. And got some trank arrows. Yeah, this will do nicely. A level 100. Anything higher than that, it will probably break out of the uh, bowler. So. And I haven't got a trap for it. But come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. Okay, Spidey. I know you was the uh, pterodon last time around, but. As to all my patrons, I am extremely grateful and I know if you guys stick around to the end of the video you always see the patron names scrolling up and some of them names, you know, they are in every single month and uh, I really, really appreciate it. It helps out massively. It's, I'm not actually a full-time YouTuber. I've got another job on the side and, you know, maybe one day I can give up my day, day job, but you guys make doing this a lot easier. So thank you. So this location actually featured in my best location guide but the maps changed so much I'm finding lots more spots but there's metal here and I'm not sure if it's actually here I want to build on it's it might be one of the ones further back because there's a ramp coming up the side here there's there's other surfaces I'm gonna have to clear out some of the trees but it was somewhere in this position that I figured we'd end up putting our main base build down and I like the waterfall 
it's just a beautiful spot to be in with a little bit of metal right next to you. So I'm just going to put a little thatch square build on just so I can put a smithy and a bed and something in it. But I don't think this is the exact spot we're going to be doing the main base building. I think it's just across from the waterfall. But this would do just for now. I need to put something down. Otherwise, could end up having a bad day. <laughs> At the moment, we've only got the uh, pterodon to get us about. And if we lose that, well, yeah. <laughs> We're back to square one. So, let's at least get a bed down. Especially with level 300 creatures. Right. This might be a bad move. Because it's a little bit early to be going for an Argent. But... Why not? I've managed to make a trap. There's a reasonable one just down there. 250 or 240 or something it was. So I think we'll go straight for an Argent. I mean, if we get one, that means we can get all of our utility dinos. And uh, I can make the saddle. Okay. So if I just clear this tree out, it's sort of just down from this tree. Same old trap I always do, it's just, you know, use four or five dino gates and uh, lead it in there. But, oh, the fog. <laughs> the fog. Now, one thing I, I was like, oh, I hope they fix the fog in Ark Ascended. And they, they have. I know you can turn this cloud off. And I know it completely stops you from what you're doing, but it's actually pretty realistic. If you've ever been caught out on top of a hill that you can't see a foot in front of you, sometimes you just get... And it, and it feels real. I know it still stops you, so... I refuse to turn off the clouds and fog. <laughs> of course, actually on the test server, um, I was going over the top of the mountain and I just went face to face with a gigger. <laughs> in the clouds so yeah it's definitely uh it's definitely adding to it so here we go yeah this is it a 250 yeah look at this which ain't a bad start if we can trap it oh of course yeah clouds are coming in i should turn the clouds off <laughs> okay come on come on so hopefully I know all the pathings sort of change now, but I want it to aggro on me. Where'd you go? There it went. Of course, this is risky, but hey, it's worth the risk. I don't mind. We'll sacrifice Spidey and... No, 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 no. Oh, dear. Um... Come here, Spidey. Come on. Uh, this, this is not good. It's not going on passive. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully that just falls down to the floor and we can find it because it had all of the kite and we need to make the saddle for the Argent. Ah, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, well, at least I can still see the bird. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the Tyranodon body, so we can tame it. At least we're back, you know, glass half full. At least we're back to having one tame. Um, but being able to ride it, yeah, that might be a problem. But, hey, we've got an Argent. Ah. <laughs> uh, think James what are you gonna do now um, okay right the Argent is gonna tame up now I've pumped it full of narcotic and even if we die things will be all right what I want is I need 10 pieces of hide if we make a parachute I think I can get back up there we'll stick it on follow I don't want to interfere with an Argent because they're kind of dangerous now if they home on you because you can't pump speed, so you can't really kite them. You can only run. 
and yeah, I need to run uphill, not downhill, so I want to try not to spook it if possible. So let's just check out what we've got down here. I say 10 hide and we can parachute off the top. I reckon I could land at base if we can do that. That'd be cool. But this is really risky. I mean, a saber. Oh, okay. A scorpion, that'd be good for um, kiting. I don't know how many of them I'll have to kill, but yeah. Uh, oh dear. Okay. Um, we're in trouble. Well, um,. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get rid of this bird. It's okay. The Argent will tame out. It's going to be safe up there. It's just... Uh, just make them stems because I've been stabbed a couple of times by the scorpion. Don't want to get torpid out. Mind you saying that with the amount of fortitude I'm pumped out, I'm probably invincible against that sting. <laughs> not invincible against this Argent though. Damn thing. Oh dear. Well, first death in the game. But we got an Argent out of it, you know, it's not, it's not completely us. It's just, the parachute would have been cool. Well, <laughs> uh, okay. Back to square one. Kind of, kind of. Okay, well, I've got us a crappy Pteranodon here. Let's just head back to base and uh, the Argent tamed out, so we're all good. We're all good. Just a little bit of a spanner, but it's a shame I couldn't get a parachute crafted. Let's just get the Argent a saddle. This is not a bad first tame, and of course, now we got an Argent, well, we're going to be able to get all of the utility dinos. I can pick up the Dodix, the Yankees, that sort of stuff. And now we've got an Argent, we can get more Argent. So, not a bad start. Going straight for the Argent, really. And... We... Yeah, well, let's, just get, let's just get it to follow us back home. Quality. Right, we can start work now. We can start work. So, I've done a little bit of work off camera. We've managed to tame some essential utility diners here. And I shifted that thatch base and moved position. We are now facing the waterfall that's just a little bit further back because I think there's much more of a surface to work with here. And I just had to clear out some trees just to see where we was. But yeah, we're pretty much in the thick of it here. We're right next to the redwoods, the swamp, We've got beaver dams, but then again, we should be relatively safe. <laughs> you know, as safe as you can be on Ark at the top of this cliff here. So, next time I'm going to do a build episode, I'm kind of thinking some sort of oriental looking tower build maybe. Now that we've got some new parts that we can turn these triangles upside down. Um, I was thinking something like that but I'm sure it's going to evolve over time and of course I'm not going to record everything that I'm doing because I want to focus this map on doing guides but let me know what you think of the level 300 dinos and that's a point better show you what we've got here so the Argents managed to just mix some base stats here but these are really good look at that 84 stamina and uh, level 300 creatures and dinos are going to get take a little bit of getting used to with these points um, and on a 150 server by any standard they would be really powerful but on this server well you know they can keep up now the utility creatures on the other hand look at the uh, stats on the Anki here they are going to be really useful certainly more useful because I'm going to be able to pump more weight and more things on them so it's kind of like a swings and roundabouts thing when you're going for max level creatures or level 300 creatures and uh, I have no idea how tough it's going to be in the caves because the numbers will go through the roof on the cave but I think this balances it out to make uh, Ark Survival Ascended at least a little bit more fun but uh, that's all the time I've got until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see ya.